How's it going? And I hope you're all doing well. Um, this weekend, the weather forecast for Scotland is absolutely horrific. And we've got a storm coming in. Uh, they've called it Storm Malik. So naturally, as a landscape photographer, I'm going to go and try and photograph Storm Malik. So today I am going to head down to a place called Ardrossan, which is just down the coast, about 30 miles. Um, it's really quite wild down there. They always get the worst of the weather when there's a storm coming in. Um, there is a lighthouse and there's quite a lot of places where the, the waves lap up over the side. So I'm going to head down there. Fingers crossed that the coast road is still open and that I don't get whapped out by a wave in the way there. Uh, but I'm going to try and see if I can get some waves um, splat in the lighthouse. So I'll head down there and see if I make it. <laughs> Right, so I am now down at Ardrossan Harbour and I'm going to be honest, like the car is shooting about, it is absolutely wild. Uh, so to get a picture from the lighthouse, I am at the ferry terminal. I'm going to stand a bit back to the water because the waves are coming right up over the top, uh, which is good. So I'm going to go out there, you're probably not able to hear a word that I'm saying, um, so I'm not even going to try and video much. I'll try and get you a view of the scene and then hopefully we get some decent shots and I can show you them as well. Uh, after that, I'm probably going to change location a wee bit and just see if I can get some more around the area, but I really don't want to get in the car now, to be honest. <laughs> right, let's see what happens. So I've turned the sound off deliberately here because you couldn't hear a word I was saying. Um, so basically I was using the 70 200 lens, I was zooming in on the lighthouse, I was having to hold on at the tripod for dear life, and every time a big wave came over the top of the wall, it then got blown by the wind straight into my face. So by the time I'd finished taking my shots, I was an absolute salty mess. That was a bit wild to be honest. Uh, I'm absolutely covered in salt water. I get some good images though, I've got to say. Um, I'll put them up in a wee second and let you see them. I did try to video some of it and talk, like, talk to camera, but what a laugh. Uh, I'm going to change location now. Uh, I've got what I need. This is it's, it's just mental. Uh, at one point, my tripod get blown over as well, so no camera on it, thank goodness. But at one point, the camera bag was halfway across the street as well, so. Uh, I'm going to change location just to see if there's anything else I can get, but at the moment this is going to be quite a short video because it is, uh, it's really, really wild. Right, well, let's get ahead and see what else we can get. Right, here we go again, round two with no sound. So at this point I was taking a picture of this jetty that you can see in the frame, and we actually started to get a bit of light as well. Now when the light catches the waves, it looked really, really impressive. So I used a 70-200 lens, and this time I just used handheld photographs because it was completely pointless trying to put it on the tripod. Number one, it was going to fall, and number two, it was just shaking about everywhere. So I stood here for a few minutes, captured some of the waves in the foreground, and then here's the images. Right, 
back at the car, and I'll be honest, I really quite like that image. Um, the fact that we got a bit of light during this weather is, is a bit of a shocker, and the way it caught the waves is really, really impressive, to be honest, so I'm quite happy with that one, I've got to say. Um, I think I'm going to try one more place uh, just before I head home. Um, I feel as if because there's a bit of light now that I should really make the most of this, um, because it's not often you get the weather as bad as this and a bit of sunshine, so I'm going to go for a look around, see if I can get one more shot, and then I'm going to head home. So I'm now down in Largs and I've perched myself in one of the wee beach huts. Now in the distance there you'll probably see a couple of trees um, and just behind the trees it looked as if there was a rainbow starting to form. Um, now with the 70-200 lens I can actually zoom in, miss out the houses and have that kind of grey background, really moody background. And when I look, if I stand here another couple of minutes it looks as if the rainbow could appear. Uh, so I could get myself into a position where the rainbow is actually right behind the trees. Well, it's a nice shot anyway, so I'm going to take it, but I will stand about to see if the rainbow appears and then I'm heading home for a shower because I am freezing. <sighs> That's me back at the car, and I'll be honest, that was one of these shots there where you're just in the right place at the right time. Um, I like the look of the trees anyway, and then, but obviously the rainbow falling behind it and getting stronger as time went on was an added bonus. Uh, but I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty happy to be going home. I'm covered in salt water, I can taste it on me. Uh, but I have enjoyed today, I think get some decent shots out of it. So if you enjoyed the video, then please remember to give it a like. And if you enjoyed it and want to see some more, then please remember to hit subscribe as well. So thanks very much, take it easy, and I'll see you all again next time.